Welcome back to Let's Play L.A. Noir. We open on a homicide already. But wait, aren't we vice? But homicide questioned us because uh, they think that the morphine that we've been following may have been used in her demise. So, might as well go down there, pop around a bit, see what kind of thing we got there. But, uh... I'm going to try a little something different this episode. I like to try to mix it up every so often. I'm going to see if I can do as much this case as I can without Roy. Because Roy's a, Roy's a bit of a prick, if you can't tell. So you're I mean, just going to, like, obvious. abandon him. I really hope you're joking, Roy. It's like, all right, so here's his car. Go ahead and hop in here. Better hurry. Cry. Uh, see ya, Roy! <laughs> Ah, Roy's a smart kid. He can, he knows his way around the city. He can find his way there. I would love it if his character model was like speeding behind you, just trying to catch up. You know, it's like an automatic snap programming. Like the where, fucking Terminator. It, it's, yeah, pretty much. He's gonna come out of the ground. He is liquid metal. <laughs> the Roy One Thousand. Here to destroy Cole Connor. Cole's, you know, having a nice Sunday drive, and behind him here is clang, 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 clang. I also subscribe to the theory that uh, I think Roy also has some powers to some elemental dark magic. Hmm. Oops. How do you mean? Well, you'll see, because uh, here we are at the crime scene, and Roy is, you know, really far away. But we go ahead and pull up. He's not in the car still. And there he is. What? See, I told you the kid knows his way around. Hmm. That doesn't mean I still want to be with him. You just stay away from me. So he's either conjuring dark magic, Thanks. or he's a Saiyan. Because he knows instant transmission? Exactly. Yeah, but Saiyans aren't the ones that know instant transmission. Oh, shit. They're called, like, the Yard of Vix or whatever, I don't know. Oh, well, whatever. Uh, let's just give it to the Saiyans. They're the ones that perfected it. Because Goku went to, to another planet after killing Frieza, and then he came back to Earth later on, but the reason he didn't use this transmission to get there is because... Yeah. She called it in. We heard Carruthers thinks... Carruthers likes to make work for people. Overdoses sleeping pills, falls asleep in the tub, rest in peace, case closed. Mmm, I now wouldn't say the that there, my friend. You mind if I take a look around? Kind of fun that uh, all three of our partners are here in one room. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, it's like a that... good old family reunion of assholes. Yeah, we got Roy from Vice, and we got Finbar from Homicide, and we got that guy from Traffic. Yeah, that, that one guy from, uh, yeah, whatever. There's one was. thing, one thing I missed here in this bin. Mm -hmm. If you look closely, if I can find exactly where the where the gate, oh. there we go. Oh. It's morphine. Will be pleased. Well, that's hardly conclusive. How the I hell were you supposed to know to look in there? Well, the you got to look in trash cans as a police around. officer, detective man. I suppose. It's on the ground floor. You'd be surprised how many cases I've seen solved because of grabbing stuff from a trash can. Whether it's uh, evidence or shredded documents or getting DNA uh, samples from a guy's cup or something like that. But anyway, there's there's a dead lady in here. We've had a look around. Rusty thinks it's a waste of time. What's your theory? Come on, Mal. Tell us why we were dragged down here. It's the reason why we're here. Alive when she entered the tub, water would have entered her lungs. The water was finally churned in the windpipe as she drowns. The result uh, is that a lot of foam is generated. This foam is found at the mouth and nostrils in almost all cases of real drowning. Notice anything about our Vic? May I took a look? Be my guess. Well, uh, let's take a look at her. I mean, uh, excuse me, miss. Take a closer look at her head and neck. <laughs> Hello there. 
It's like, da, da, da. Her neck was bruised pretty badly. It seems she was badly strangulated uh, right before death. Ah, da, 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 da. Stop moving my neck! We look here, we got a Bruising fucking bite mark? Jeez. Look like bite marks. Does she have rabies? She got bit by somebody who had rabies, I guess. And over on the other hand here. Hmm, another bite mark. Is a ring! Very unusual ring. I could be wrong, but it looks like a black sapphire. Huh? The, eyes were mm, the ring of instant rabies. Bruises tell their own <laughs> One man held her down, and another held her arm and injected her. They put her ah, as a murder using morphine. Mm -hmm. They choked her and they drugged her, and then they put her in the bath. See if you can find the surrets. It would make my theory. The morphine would have been very quick. I shall assist your suicide. Okay. So find two guys who recently by making it a homicide. Yeah, Yoshimitsu, I don't think you know how suicides work. Well, let's take a well, let's take a little peek around in the bedroom here, and we got uh Sleeping pills. Sleeping ass pills. Barbituates. Maybe I'll pocket one of these and no 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 be a good cop. <laughs> Just smack yourself on the wrist. Ah! What's this? Quality English smoking jacket. A men's smoking jacket? Would wear one. A smoking jacket. Hmm. Do you know anyone ever in your life who's ever had a smoking jacket? Nope. I knew one guy. It was more like a smoking bib, really. <laughs> we look in this pillbox, we see pills. Jesus! More, more barbiturates, eh. Uh. Maybe she oh should put them in here instead of on the floor, but in here we see a uh, prescription! We should speak to a doctor. Prescribing both drugs would make her life a roller coaster. Oh, so she was prescribed this stuff? I found all the drugs. <sighs> That's what that achievement was for, finding all the drugs. Seriously, every single drug? Yeah. Because I bet they thought that prescription we just found was a bit tricky. Okay. But it wasn't, thanks to Hero Gamer's Guide. But, you know. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, cheating. Let's see. All right, so we got three pictures here. Look at this first one. Maybe there's something on the back here. We should investigate it closer. So let's see. Oop. I meant to pick this up and investigate this further. Let's see. Yep. Brilliant. Case closed. I was about to say invisible ink. Well, maybe this next one gives us a bit more, uh... Let's it, see. It's Acme's patented, disappearing, reappearing ink! Ah, oh, there we go. The scene. The scene? Company asked for Mr. Randall. Hmm. Hmm. Well, maybe this third one has the most important information. Girl. Clothes certainly aren't from the Sears catalog. No, oh, Sears. God, that's dated. No, nope. hey, look. It's Sears Future. Ouch. Yeah. Ouch. <laughs> they're in trouble. They're, they're, they're yeah, very they much are. in trouble. Thing is, that comment about S Sears being uh, dated... It's not dated yet, but it soon will be, unfortunately. I'm Detective Phelps. Mm-hmm. I'm here to try and help Julia. Well, you let's interview the maid, Forget see what she it. knows about I'm her. I'm so shocked. I feel like there's something I should be doing, someone I should call. We can make those calls, ma'am. You can talk to me. He needs to be notified. I'm gonna yell at you and accuse you of lying. <laughs> Miss Julie doesn't have Oh, come on! She's a grieving maid! Someone you were the closest to her, which means that you were the one who knew how to Mr. kill Mr. her the best. I, I don't know. If you give the details, Fess up, you barbituate. There's a bitch in barbituate. It has to be you. <laughs> Was Miss Randall depressed about something? Upset? No more than normal. Oh, yeah? 
What are you oh, wow, that was a very guilty face. About something. I have no idea what you're talking about. The thing is, she really is lying kind of hardcore. She yeah. Habituates. She couldn't sleep. Willful, like, blissfully ignorant, I would say, or at least, you know, trying to play dumb to, to the whole thing. Well, did you see that face? It was immediate, like, snap to the right. It's like, uh, no. I knew nothing about her terrible barbish. I knew nothing about the fact that she would uh, take two every hour. Does modeling really pay that well? All right, what about her personal life? many friends, is it? I'm not sure. I only come around twice a week. God, stop with your fucking lying! And, yep, look straight down. Julia had men stay here. I will not speak ill of the dead. You can't prove that. You can't slam a table and lie like that. Check out this fucking smoking jacket I got for you right here. Stay here! She's really bad at this. That's Mr. Henderson. Mm-hmm. An older man, very distinguished looking. He seemed very much in love with her. Where would we find mm, him? Sounds like he loved to kill. No. He said he lives in San Francisco. A die to murder for. Wait, what? What was it like working for Miss Randall? Perfectly fine, officer. God! <laughs> uh-uh. Ain't having it. Something about Julia come on! Don't want to tell me. And how do you come to that conclusion, young man? Are you, like, stealing stuff from the house? Because you are a very untrustworthy maid! Alright, let's show you how wrong you are. But wow, don't that face. Any, don't <laughs> yeah. Never find out. She's obviously lying, but we have nothing to accuse her of that. Ah, uh, like okay. Tell me. She was very high strung. Lovely one moment and screaming at you the next. That's bipolar disorder, kids. She wanted it all and she wanted mm -hmm. it done quick. Of course, being so beautiful, it seemed like she was going to get it. Not the way it's turned out, though, is it? Thanks, Mrs. Reynoldson. You've been very helpful. With your lies. The detectives will take your statement and then you can go home. You've been so helpful after I had I to basically, you know, sweet talk you into giving me the information. So we just got like a shit ton of leads from looking around there. We've got, it, you know, yeah. several POIs. We've got several places that she's been. We've got, you know, where are those morphine's coming from? Where'd you get that from? You know, we got to do. So we got all of our partners from Homicide working down there as well. But I need to hurry and get to the car before Roy gets here. Go, 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 go. go Run go, faster, go. Cole. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. All right. Hurry up, I hurry up, to, hurry up. Here we go. We're going to go to the uh, Dr. Stillman's office which is where she got the prescription. Go, go, go. There he go, is. Go. There he is. Here he comes. <laughs> <laughs> Later, sucker. <laughs> what a maroon. Up like this maroon just... vehicle that he spent $50,000 on. What a fucking idiot. <laughs> I could just see Roy just standing there going, Well, what the fuck? After all I've done for you, Phelps. Then he rolls his eyes, pulls out the rune stones, go buys a goat, you know. Uh, Not good. Yeah, put, puts, all the, puts all the stones in the infinity gauntlet and goes, I'm sorry, Cole. Huh. Uh, Roy, I don't feel so good. No wonder this game is so, like, lacking in NPCs. We will get I think there. we just found it out. Well, let's, uh, do, I think this let's do a little bit of cinematic mode. I mean, uh, it's good practice, right? We're, I mean, we're in, I we're mean, in Hollywood, oh, man. We are in Hollywood. God. So, of course, we need to do the cinematic view as much as we can, at least for a while, right? Oh, true. And, uh, you know, if we're in Hollywood, we need to do as they do and uh, rehash old ideas, remake everything, and just create sequels for no reason. Oh, hey, Roy. I really want a cigarette uh, now. I, I was just thinking I really want that building to catch fire now. Uh, I, I don't know why. If it catches fire, I bet it'd smell richer, bolder, tastier. Mmm, cigars. It would burn with cigarettes. Alright, Roy's following me, and I need to really, like... Where am I going here? There's the elevator, but... Which office is his? Quit, quit following me, Roy, jeez. 
You just up my God, you're like a lost puppy. Just up my ass all the time. Sheesh. Maybe if I go around. I come back through Are you here. Still trying to lose Roy. Aha, here we go. Dr. Stoneman! 505. Stoneman, Office 505. Still lagging by Go, 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 go! Don't let him get on the elevator! Oh. There's not even room for him! No! Ah. I swear, if we him and that damn dark portal down, magic of his. Shit! Be able to work half days. Well, let's go talk to the old good doctor, and I... I like this shot. You know, the blinds and light and all that. Across his door, mm -hmm. you know. Yes, sir, your name? It's, uh... Foreshadowing, LAPD. almost. We'd like mm. to see Dr. Stoneman. Dr. Stoneman is with the patient. Would you like to wait? No, we wouldn't. <laughs> Tell him we want to see him now. There's no need to be rude. Save it, sister. <laughs> Dr. Stoneman, I have some gentlemen from the LAPD. Well, you could just hear the finger quotes in her voice, uh, couldn't you? I'll, uh, I'll see this patient again from the LAPD. They're here to talk about some... business. Can you please come out here so they leave me alone? Leave me alone. Yeah, your sciatica is more important. Is less important. A woman is dead. Doctor Stoneman, we are investigating the death of one of your patients, Julie Randall. I'm very sorry to hear that. Do you mind if we ask you some questions about Ms. Randall? Uh, um, not if it doesn't compromise doctor patient privilege. Did she have cancer? How well did you know Miss Randall? Was she having trouble sleeping? Um, she patient. Was she a druggy, flaky, burnout kind of individual? Year. I'm sure you know that. Did she know any yeah. serial murderers? Does she see why kids love the taste of Cinnamon Toast Crunch? Oh, by the way, he's lying. Your prescriptions contradict you, Doctor. Miss Randall. I just want Cole to slam his hand down on the desk and go, What the Just fuck is a barbiturate? <laughs> Roy, I want you to search every library and find me everything you know about barbiturates! <laughs> I don't need no doctor's explanation. I'll take it from a book. Not from a doctor who lies all the time, like this guy. All right, let's talk about uh, the additional medications you gave her, because you gave her two things that's, like, really, really fucking bad. How can you account for that? Miss Randall was in the uh, fashion business. She wanted to said that already. You fuck. Benzedrine is addictive, as I'm sure you know, doctor. As I warned her. But I'm she getting right to it. She said she needed it to control her appetite. Sounds like you knew her pretty well. I knew the line of work she was involved in. That's the third time she's... That'll be all for now. Oh, she was in fashion. She was in fashion. She was in fashion. She was in fashion. I was just supposed to know the drugs Wait. were addictive. I'm only a doctor who's prescribed them, after all. Is she a train engineer? No. I'm trying to remember what her job was, but I just, I just don't remember. She's a model, bro. She's in the fashion industry. In the fashion? Was that ever mentioned in this case? Uh, a couple times, I think. It might have been. Really? I mean, it'd be kind of weird if they if you said that four times with one guy in one room in one interview, but you know, heck. Oh. Is this game being redundant? About what? Okay, I need to find the car. I need to find the car. Roy's not getting in. Go, 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 go. Yes. Is, oh shit! I gotta punch it, Chewy. Go. Uh. Faster. What are you doing? <laughs> He's gonna get in. I yeah, got in. Anyway, let's head to the Decene Dress Store. Following up that lead on the back of that, uh, Have you that how Croker's second camera frame. But hey, at least he can enjoy our cinematic camera view. Jesus, dude. Uh, can, can we up? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> can we coin a uh, new phrase for cinematic mode? Sure. Uh, uh, I would like to either call it hard mode or uh, achievement destruction mode. Oh! You idiot! How about we call it? Ah! Yeah, we could do that. That's the shortened version. Well, at least it's not that far away. 
Just a nice scenic Whoa. tour of LA and OH GOD! I love the smash cut to black. Oh good, it's it's because the game doesn't know what to do when you're driving recklessly. It's like there's a special bit of coding that says if asshole player cut to black. <laughs> Oh, huh, who said that? Was it you? I recognize that guy from the papers. He's a cop. Yeah. Hmm, you can help me oh. by pointing me in the direction of a murderer. I hope I haven't done anything wrong. That remains to be no, seen. <laughs> We're making some inquiries about Julia Randall. Oh, you. No, I, coming in here uh, accusing people. Is she in some sort of trouble? She was found dead this She's morning. She's dead. Oh, no. Let's talk about her employment history, because she used to work here. How long had Julie worked as a model? Well, she worked in New York before coming here. She was a very beautiful girl. She also worked in the fashion mm. industry. You were the shock that someone normally is when told about a She worked in the fashion industry? She worked in the fashion industry. Metal Gear? Lying? How dare you? <laughs> I'm sorry, ma'am, it's what I do. do have for this kind of accusation? I'll tell you what basis I have for this accusation. The fact that you have a stone face. It's nothing personal. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, she's, yeah. she's telling the truth. Could you tell us why you left that was a home? that was a I very truthful statement. There was absolutely no lies in that. If you don't can't shake the tree. Don't find out what falls. Dresses. Whatever the fuck he says. <laughs> can't find the clues if you don't shake any turkeys. Any uh, what? Actually, yes. Heather Can't find the bayou if you don't drive the jet ski into the doghouse. Very well, officer. Mm, you can't skin a cat if you don't crush a few lemons first. There's more than one way to build Rome in a day. I understand that you worked with Julia Randall, Miss Swanson? Yes. Julia helped me get my job here. So this is her besto friendo that uh, she worked with, though. Oh, no. Hey, Roy, you think this is the lady that was written in the diary? Says she was a total bitch? That's a lovely engagement ring. Do you like it? Henry gave it to me. I'm very interested in Oh, Henry, that slut. Take a closer look. Oh, sorry. So we're holding on to the fact that she's dead right now. She's just like, oh, is there, is there anything? It's in... But she has an engagement Wait ring that looks very, That's very, very, very similar to the uh, Black Sapphire engagement oh, ring that... You. That she had. Hmm. Mm hmm. Well, how did, you, how did you know the victim? How did you meet Julia? I was introduced through my fiance, Henry Arnett. No relation to Will Arnett? Or Julia and Henry. Henry, Henry, Henry. So much talk about Henry. I have a strange feeling that Henry might be in the fashion how industry. I don't know whether Henry and Julia were close. I prefer uh, Henry's Rock brother, Booster Henry is close. Tell us about him. Yes, he is. Henry has a fashion He's industry. in the fashion industry? He and Julia have been friends for years. Uh, the fashion industry? That's the first time we've heard about this in this Ms. case. Randall and Mr. Henderson engaged? Who's he? Mrs. Mr. Henderson? <laughs> Julia was kept by this Henderson. <laughs> Wait. Wait, they're talking about a different guy. I, I got really confused there for a second. No. What evidence is there that says that Julia is a prostitute? Whoa, that's a bit of an escalation. Like I well, I uh, wrote here in my notebook, uh, she might be a prostitute, and then it was signed by her in my handwriting, so uh, it's all in black and white, dear. I think a little uh, bit of a case closed no, here, and uh, I hate to say, I told you so. Hollywood Police Station. It would be very helpful to our inquiry. Now, wait a moment. I don't think I'll pass on that message until you tell me why you're asking all these questions. Hmm... Julia Randall was found dead this Boom! Week. Oh! What? Just drop that news like a ton of bricks all over your ass. Oh, no. Oh, I can't believe it. She was so full of Not life. anymore. <laughs> Depression hits the worst of us, ma'am. <laughs>